Okay. I'm all set up for the experiment now. I have a piece of lovely galena attached to a string. We have our electronic balance, which is now on. Graduate cylinder and some water. So first I'm going to walk you through the steps and then I'll actually do it and tell you what measurements we are getting. Then after this is done, I'll pull up another, I'll add another segment to the video showing how to get the calculations. There are two measurements that we're going to be going for. The first one is the mass of the mineral. So we're going to do that first. And after that's done, we'll add some water to our graduated cylinder and put it on our scale. We'll use the tear button or the zero button to zero out the scale. And after we tear our balance with the graduated cylinder and water on it, we'll take our piece of galena, put it into the graduated cylinder, hopefully not letting it touch the sides, and lower it down into the water until it's completely submerged. Next, we'll look at our scale and we'll see it will record the number which would, will be the mass of the water displaced by our mineral. And the mass of the mineral and the mass of the water displaced by the mineral are the two calculations that we need to figure out density and specific gravity for Galena. Okay, so now we're going to do the experiment and get our calculations. Take our piece of Galena, put it on our scale, String really shouldn't screw up our measurements. 22.7 grams. We record this as the mass of our mineral. Next, take our graduated cylinder and add some water to it. Let's get this to an even number on there. Okay, so now we have this all set, we're going to go ahead and tear to zero, zero our scale. 0, 0.0 grams, perfect. Next, take our little piece of galena, tighten the string a little. We're going to drop it slowly down into the graduated cylinder until it's displacing the water. Okay, 3.0 grams. Now we'll record this, 3.0 grams, as the mass of our water displaced. Okay. Now, the 22.7 grams is our mass of our mineral. 3.0 grams is the mass of our water displaced. Next, I'll show you how to use these two calculations to figure out the specific gravity and the density of galena. Okay, first let's get our measurements in. For our mineral mass, we had 22.7 grams. And then for our mass of water displaced, we had 3.0 grams. Now, for volume of water displaced, there's a conversion factor. One gram of water is equal to one centimeter cubed of water. You could also get this reading by looking at a graduated cylinder and seeing how much of a change there was when you added the mineral to the water. But for this, we're just going to use the conversion. And since it's one to one, it's going to be the same as our mass of water displaced. So 3.0 grams by centimeters cubed. Next, we're going to calculate the density. Now the density is our mineral mass, which was 22.7 grams. And then we're going to divide that by our volume of water displaced which is 3.0 centimeters cubed. Now, okay, 
So you're going to divide that, you're going to get a weird number. So we're, since we're rounding to the second decimal place, we're just going to say 7.57 grams of watt, or grams by centimeters cubed. Now specific gravity, to calculate this, we're going to be using another conversion factor. And like the conversion factor before, this one is density of water is equal to 1 gram per centimeter cubed. And since again, 1 to 1 ratio, simple math, the specific gravity and density are going to be the same. So you're going to have 7.57 as your measurement for specific gravity. And specific gravity is a unitless figure. So you don't have to add anything. Like I tried to add grams, now I had to delete it because it's unitless. Make sure that you have all your units correct or you will get marked down. Okay, so now I'm gonna get you your calculations. And by the way, this lovely little blacky mineral here is called pyroxene, something very important. But right now, we're just going to talk about specific gravity and density. So, for the mass of your mineral, 17.6. So, 17.6 grams is the mass of the mineral. Next. Put our graduated cylinder with our water in it onto a scale. Tear it. Lower it. Five point two grams. Five point two grams is going to be the mass of your water displaced. Okay. Now Calculate the specific gravity and the density for this mineral.